Before Aaron Kozel gets to this level of training, he needs to learn various security forces procedures. From PowerPoints to hands-on exercises, he says this is quite the experience. Sometimes when you have a classroom situation, and you can really kind of forget about what's going on, but they made it a lot more active, interactive, and exciting. Aaron Kozel and the rest of the class received training on the proper handcuffing and searching techniques. Put your hands above your head. Spread your feet. Spread your fingers. Put your hands small on your back. Palms out. Thumbs up. Controlling a suspect with commands and thoroughly searching the suspect for potential hazards. The instructors explained every step of the process and its importance. Class instructor Staff Sergeant Dustin Rybert says that the training is mostly Kunsan specific but can be used on any base they go to. We teach them military operations and urban terrain. We take them out to our combat arms range, give them sim rounds which are kind of like paintballs. Magazine is loaded. Send your bolt forward. They get to clear rooms and clear buildings as fire teams. Your adrenaline gets going and you really get excited. It's, it's action and it's a lot different from the stuff you do normal day to day. Airman Kozo also has greater appreciation for security forces and all they do. Because, you know, you get kind of complacent about, oh, security forces just on base to give me tickets and to harass me when I'm riding around or driving around. And this kind of shows you that they have to, on a day-to-day -day basis, be ready just in case something happens. A little fun, a little action, and a lot of high-speed training. These airmen spanning all types of career fields bring a lot to security forces with their skills and take a lot away with the training. Specialist Brian Zeisler, Kunsan Air Base, Korea.